Well, hello vlog. As some of you may have spotted, this is not my normal location. Well, you might be wondering where exactly I am. And that is a very interesting story. But to tell it properly, I need to take you back to September 2021, roughly eight months ago. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Roll the clips. Today is a very significant day. It has been about one and a half, maybe two months in the making. A lot of work, a lot of hurdles to jump through, but uh, finally got to this day. I'm going to collect my keys from my new property. And I'm, I'm definitely feeling the significance of today. It is, um, I can't understate that enough. I'm very excited. Well, this is my white envelope. It has my keys in it. Um, yeah, this is a big day. Honestly, it doesn't quite feel real yet. <laughs> I think it will feel real when I'm there. Well, this is my new place. I bought a flat. <laughs> kitchen, just ignore this. This is my cleaning stuff just here. So like kitchen, nice big kitchen. We got built-in fridge freezer here. Got the Sprite in there. Very good, always need the Sprite. Big spacious living area here, which is always good. Bedroom here with the ensuite. I'm gonna change the wall. This wallpaper is coming off. Going away, buy wallpaper. And second bedroom, got my laptop sitting right there. Second bedroom slash office, gonna be the guest room and office room. And you can see I'm measuring because I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna put where and where things are gonna fit. So yeah, this is in the future where I will be vlogging from and that's what you'll see in the vlogs and I might document the journey of like making it my own and doing whatever I need to do with it. It's only had one previous owner. Um, this whole development it's in was built fairly recently so yeah it's a lovely area. It's closer to Edinburgh which is great. It means I can get um, really quickly get into the city compared to where I used to be, which was further out, which is great. It's also really quick to get to see family so I can get over to see them pretty quickly. And yeah, sorry about the echo. It is an echoey room in here right now. First stop for the day, b and Q. I I should get a toolbox. That's what I need. I need a toolbox. But look, great value, only 30 pounds. <laughs> toolbox. Should I get a lawnmower? <laughs> you know, I don't have a lawn. Mm, probably do need a mop and a bucket. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Big ladder, yeah? That'll do. Next stop, curries. <laughs> Should get one of these. I need a vacuum cleaner. I need a shark. That's what we do. Ah, look at all the microwaves. I think I'm going to go for that one. We're looking at TVs now. <laughs> Ikea. Mmm. 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 Cute. Walking through the IKEA maze. Walking through the IKEA maze. Wow, look at all the kitchen stuff. So many taps. Wow. Looking at standing desks. Always like the idea of a standing desk. Getting all the kitchen stuff. Yeah. I think we needed a bigger car. This is getting ridiculous. Got all this, loads of stuff here at IKEA. Got plates, got all this. Great. We are getting ready to steam this wall because this wallpaper is coming off. This wallpaper is coming off quite easily, it looks like. Oh, wow. Yeah, very hot and steaming here though. I wonder if we can use the steamer to take this stuff off the wall. Well, we managed to scrape all the wallpaper off that wall and it didn't even take that long. What did take even longer was getting this uh, off this wall. There was a trunking that went up here from, because there used to be a TV here, and there's screws. And you can see there's plugs and a uh, aerial connection there. So the cables came up and there was a trunking thing and it left this sticky resin up here. So we basically used the wallpaper strimmer thing to heat it up and then we were able to pull it off but it take, took the paintwork off with it which is fine because we're going to be like repainting all of this wall anyway but it's just funny that that took longer than this whole wall <laughs> we're painting in here so this paint actually looks darker on camera than it is in reality but it's because of the light in the wall first time using the new coffee machine so this is an espresso machine and I realized it's the same one that we had in the Hotel in Sky. So two longos, basically. Large, small. Longo. Opposite of longo. <laughs> filled up. Two of these filled up this cup. I'm gonna sit here on this folding chair, drinking my coffee, watching the world go by out of my giant windows. Maisie is here for the first time. She's sniffing around. I think she can still smell the cat that used to live here. Oh. 
Well, it's Saturday, a new day, and uh, what do you think? Is paint looking good? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely more of the color, I imagine. Hello, Maisie. She's still running around all excited. Wave hello. 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 So this is the roof space up here. Got a light. We figured out how to get the ladders working. So yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good spacious actually. Well, another successful weekend. We got cleaning done, we got four cl more cleaned in here. We got doors that have been cleaned, all nice. The painting is more or less done in this room, it's looking great. Just a little touch up to be done and uh, yeah, ready for this electrician coming on later this week to install the lighting in that room. This room is still to be done. I've got to decide on the desk I'm gonna get in here, so I've got to sort all that out. Still lots of things to sort out, but we're, gonna make, we're getting there, making progress. It's gonna be good. Just had an electrician visit and installed this great looking light, loving it. Well, it's a new day and the bed has been delivered. Yay, bed. And this is the kind of mattress where like, it's, it's a full mattress, so like you sink in. But it's kind of clever. Let me just pull off this. It's got a layer of foam and then a layer of springs. And I like this kind of mattress. The other cool thing about this bed is it lifts up. There you go. It's a storage thing underneath. And then you just, you just push it back down. Ow. There we go. You just push it back down. <laughs> that was a little bit more effort than I was expecting. <laughs> there, bed done. Now, in the other room are all these boxes, because Ikea delivered a sofa. So instead of building that thing up, I'm going to have a coffee. Mmm, cake. Well, I am ripping up cardboard. And I got a whole load more to go. Well, we did it. We built up this couch, and it's actually a sofa bed that pulls out like this. Well, kind of. Yeah. It pulls out and this is supposed to pull up. Like this bit lifts up and then it comes up to make a bed. Unfortunately, we were missing a couple of clamp things and some screws. So I've requested those and those should get here eventually and then we can complete it. But it works fine as a couch just now, which is exactly what we need. This is not gonna stay in this room. It was just here temporarily. This is where we built it up. It's gonna go in the office room through there. Ooh, first bedside bedside cabinet arrived. I guess they arrived, they're arriving separately because uh, one's arriving later. This one arrived this afternoon. We're almost done building this thing up and we've got a doggy here. Say hi, doggy. <laughs> well, there we go. Both bedside tapes are in. Looking very nice. Yeah, I think this place is looking really, really good so far. All right, well, it has been some months and I just wanted to show where we are up to. So the bedroom is mostly done. Got the nice bed in here, got the lamps on the side here. And these, a lot of lights now are uh, smart lights. So just for instance, I can press this button and uh, the lights go off. On the opposite wall here, I have this drawing painting thing that I got when I was in New York. And uh, so I thought I'd put that up on this wall. It looks quite cool. In the hallway, we've got new lighting. Um, so replace the drop down bulbs with these lights fixed into the ceiling. And again, they're all uh, smart lighting. So that's pretty cool too. Obviously you can see it's still a hole from where the old bulb used to be. And, uh, but this will all be fixed eventually. So in the office slash guest room, still a big space here. But over this side of the room, you can see I've got a desk in now with computer, monitor, laptop. And over here, I've got a nice unit from Ikea. I've got printer, scanner, copier. And the cool thing is this isn't just any desk. This is a height adjustable desk and it has memory positions. So if I just push this up, the desk, starts to raise up. And now it's in a standing position. So you can see this is at position two and I push it down and it will go down. You can see the, the centimeters counting down and it's going, uh, it reached position one and now it's going all the way down. It goes like really low and really high, which is great. Okay, so I just want to point out how fantastic of a job the painter and decorator did. Like there were holes all over this room, all over the walls because we were running cables here, like for these ethernet points. There was new plug sockets behind that unit. There's more ethernet down there. So there was like holes around there, holes down here, holes in the roof up there, there and there. And you would have absolutely no idea from looking at this room that there was ever any holes in the walls. They did an amazing job filling everything in and painting. So 
definitely. And then I'm gonna get them back. And the kitchen looks mostly similar. I mean, I've got stuff in the cupboards now. I've got things out here. You can see I've got the coffee machine, which I'm gonna use in a minute. I got this nice lamp for the corner. Again, smart bulbs. And uh, this couch is still here. This is to go into the office guest room when I get another sofa for this area. I was given this nice rug. It's a very, very soft rug. It's very, very nice. And I have this glass dining room table I got and I managed to build it up myself, which I'm really proud of. It came all flat packed. I did not appreciate how heavy this glass would be, but you can see I'm still using these folding chairs because I haven't gotten around to buying proper dining room chairs yet, but I will do that. And this table is so good. I love it. Still the like original lighting in here, but I'm gonna get lights put in the roof. It's all gonna be super cool looking. And uh, excuse the box, but the plan is here. I've got a nice little table on order to go here. I'm gonna have a, what people sometimes call an accent chair sitting over here on the wall here. It's gonna be a big TV put on the wall and like a unit below it. So you'll be able to stretch out with a comfy blanket on the couch and watch TV over on the wall and it'll be super cool. This whole room will of course also with the hallway, it still needs to be painted. The other bedroom and the office have been decorated and painted and they're looking really, really good. But this all, this all still needs to be done. That will happen once I've finished putting in furniture and things. Of course, I don't want to be getting the walls all nicely painted and then putting a TV on the wall and having to drill holes and things like that. So that will be like kind of the, almost the last thing to be done. My plan is that this wall over here is going to be like a dark color, maybe like a dark navy blue kind of color and all of the other walls will be a lighter color. So that should hopefully create a nice contrast. I feel like one of the problems right now is it's just taking so long to get anything done. Like when you order furniture, it takes like weeks to arrive. So I'm just kind of waiting on things arriving. And I'm also very indecisive when it comes to furniture because like I'll get a look online for different things. It's like, oh, I could get that. Oh, but look, I could get that. So like, I just need to really start making some decisions about what furniture I need, uh, but I am, not in a huge rush, I'm just uh, taking things easy and getting ideas along the way. So I think a lot of people have these defining moments in their life that represent a whole new chapter or a whole new start. For me, this is definitely one of those. I spent so much of my early 20s basically just living in the moment, not really thinking about the future, just going from one experience to the next. But now I'm in my late 20s and soon I'll be in my 30s and I'm thinking more about the future. So for me, Buying this place, moving further away from my family, becoming more independent, it represents a new chapter in my life. It's the, the start of something different. I'm having to build new routines and learn to live more on my own. And while that's kind of scary, it's also really exciting. And I'm really looking forward to discovering all of the new opportunities that living here will give me. I also feel so much more independent here. I can literally just jump on a train and go wherever I need to go. Like you'll see in up and coming vlogs, I literally just jump on a train head up north, hang out for a weekend with friends, come back or be jumping on a train to the airport and flying off somewhere, which you'll see soon in another vlog. I don't need to rely on other people to get me to those places. I can do that independently and by myself. Quite often living here, I'll just jump on a train, go into the office, work for a bit, and in the afternoon come back here and work here. I could never have done that where I was living before. So I feel like I'm in a really fortunate position to be able to live where I am, be able to live independently, and despite all that, still be able to go off traveling and do cool things and have awesome adventures. And yeah, the last couple of years with COVID have not been easy. I've not really been able to travel very much in the way I used to, but this year things are coming back. We're getting back to travel and getting back to cool adventures. So get excited for the vlogs that are about to come because I am so looking forward to what's coming up this year. It's gonna be really, really good. Well, I think that'll about do it for this vlog. Be sure to stay tuned for more updates on how this place gets on. And of course, for all my travel and adventures coming up, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the Facebook page, hit the like button on the video, share it with your friends and family, and leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Adios for now.